What is up guys, my name is Odinson and this is Modded Minecraft. Welcome to Die Wolf 20 1.19 episode 14. Here again in my blacked out emo base. Alright, so carrying on from last episode, uh, we've started to move over to here. I moved this from in front of there because that was just annoying spawning like literally like this when I use the thing. So, um, yeah, anyway, I've got a bunch of stuff here. We set up these machines, so we've got actual ore doubling now, which is nice. Um, but now we need to automate that stuff, and um, I've been working on some of the materials, so I'm hoping we kind of got enough, but we're going to see. So the first thing we need to do is a pattern encoding terminal. We definitely need this. So um, that means we need ME terminal, which means we need dark illuminated panel, which we've got. Already we've got an illuminated panel. Have we got formation and annihilation? No. Now I know we needed to make some of these. So um one, two, three, four, five. That is the formation. And we want annihilation. <clears throat> I knew I made enough logic circuits to um deal with that. So we can get into this now. The ME terminal is that. Uh, what was I missing? Log logic, wasn't it? God's sake. Gold. All right. Um, we'll do 10 for now. Sell. Uh, 10. Remember, we can use either of them now and redstone. Ten. All right, we're gonna scoot over here. I'm just gonna dump this in our chest. This is gonna be the next thing to automate, by the way, as well. And I just want that first one more than anything. For now, and we'll come back and get the rest in a bit. Give me. Nope. Yep. You that I want. Right. And then we can uh, do that. And then we've got our ME terminal. All right, and then we need a crafting terminal, so we're going to need to make one of them. I've got calculation processors, so we can do that. And then that, and I've got a few engineering processors. I already know. All right, so this can live here for now. And this is where we can write patterns for the um, auto crafting stuff. So the next thing we're going to need is going to be... Um, some blank patterns. Um, I know I need to make some quartz glass, but I... Uh, that's the wrong... Yeah. Uh, so you, you, but... Let's just start with 20. Okay. Um, and we've got Certus and Iron, I know that. So we're going to make a handful of these. 20 will be enough to last us a good while, I would have thought. Now these live in there. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Right, so we've got blank patterns done. So the next thing we need, now one thing that's changed in the most recent versions of um, Applied Energistics has been that the interface used to do everything. But the interface only really works with crafting things now. It doesn't really deal with processing things. So in... So what they've got now is this pattern provider instead of an interface. Um, and we can turn that into a different sort of block. So what I'm going to need to do is just... Um, I'm in the wrong thing again, aren't I? I need to be in there. So I've got all this except these. I need a couple of these. That's fine. All right, and I should be able to make one of these. And then if I put that in there, then I get the flat panel version of that, which is what I want. But um, if you remember, this is where we need to go with the input. Now, this was the first machine, and I believe this is set up for the input. Yes. So I'm just going to put that on top of there. Now, that means that I want to run this cable over here, but it's going to connect to all of these machines unless I do a thing. So the next thing I want to do, so I'm going to get rid of that. I want to make a couple of cable anchors, which means I need to make this. Fine. Then just uh, one recipe of this. And I could go back in there. And what this will do is stop the cable from connecting 
when I run it across the top to these two machines. And the next thing I want, I put these away now, um, is an export bus. Because we want to export from... Oh, I, already, I didn't need to do that. Okay, so that. So I need to make a piston. Simple. And then this. Perfect. Because we need to, like, when we're done, export the stuff back to the system again. So he's going to live on there. And this one is set to output. And auto eject on, which is good. All right, and now I can just run my cables across. And this should all just connect up perfectly like that and that's going to take up two more channels which means we've now got five of eight channels already done on this machine can't do too many three there two there all right that's good um okay so now we need to write these patterns because like in this pattern encoder here and we can see from this i believe no in this pattern encoder here is where we're going to put the recipes but we have to program the recipes so um, that can get returned. And um, the first one we're going to want to do is iron. So we're going to say one of these, and this is an engineering, it's going to equal two of them. And then because this is a machine one and everything this will work properly, it will go into the pattern encoder. You click encode and it won't let you do it. Why won't it let me do it? Let's try a different thing. One of them, two of them. Uh, that can go up there and uh, that can go in there. That's right, produces two iron ingot with one raw iron. Now the important thing here is that when you export, you need to let, um, let that pattern provider know that it's been completed. Otherwise the jobs are gonna hang in the system and be waiting for the output what, all you need to do is make sure this export bus is on the same line as the pattern provider. And when it gets exported, it tells it that it's completed. So what we could do here is just... Didn't mean to do that. Just chuck that in there like that. All right, and we can put this back. And you see this has got a plus sign now, which means we can craft it. So I'm just going to take this. And what I can do, look, is process as many as I want. Now, I need to remember... That it works in twos, right? So if I want 100, I need 50 iron ore. But problem being right now is that I have no crafting CPUs. And that's the next thing to add to my system. Okay. So crafting CPUs. And I've got them in my storage here. So I don't need cable anchors anymore. Um, I'm going to need them in a minute. I don't need any more export buses. Now, what I need to do, I want to make 4K crafting units. These are the CPUs, and, it, and like each one gives you a certain amount of space, so you can do a certain... So this will be 4,096 bytes, and each operation has bytes. I'll get into that in a minute. Now, what we can do is this, which means we need 1K crafting components. So we need three... Three logic, three more logic, which we've had cooking over here in advance. Got nine there. There we go. And these can live in here. Now, let's see. So we need the 4K, that's fine, but we need the 1K. We need three of these. So we go one, two, three. And then we get the 4K. Like that. Goes back into there because we've got to craft it. And then to make the crafted storage, we need one of these. I need to make some quartz fiber because I just need a little bit of um, Luke's cable. And I turned all mine into um, covered cable. So then we do this and we do this and we've got that. And then we can make you. Perfect. So we got our 4K. And then like the problem with like just have now I could just stick this on the line here like this if I want to. Right. But the problem is that can only do one actual crafting job at a time. Now, in order to use the fullness of like the 4,000 bytes that this provides and everything, there's these other blocks called <coughs> co-processors. 
And we're going to make one of these right now. So I need another one of these. And then I just need to combine that with an engineering processor. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it behind here like this. So it's almost completely hidden. I wish I could get to that. In fact, I can't. I really can. But it means like destroying stuff. So what I want to do is I'm going to stick... You could place these in a cuboid, okay? So you could go one by three if you wanted to, but you can't go up, down, and right. It has to be a cuboid shape, either a, a, like a rectangular cuboid or a cube itself. So I'm going to place the crafting storage back here, which doesn't do anything until I put the 4K crafting unit there. What that's going to do is bump us out to a six of eight channels now. I'm just going to get some of my uh, building materials because I'm a messy boy. Um, that's not what I need. What I need is Kiwi. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go one, two, and the bricks there. So it's all nice and tidy. And now we've got our crafting units. So now we're going to see if this works. And we're going to make some iron. And what we're going to make is, let's say 50. We click next, crafted CPU available. That only uses 116 bytes. And so we start. And there we go. 25 has gone into that. Clumps have gone across. And we're keeping up with oxygen, which is good. Clumps have gone across. Dirty iron dust is now going to be turned into iron dust. Like that. And then our energized smelter is going to... Smelter, hopefully this exports. Ah, it's not an export. I need imports import to the system damn okay um what a mistake you got to think about it whenever you do something with a it's with the system in mind not the machine that you're using so an export would be export from the system into that machine so i need an import bus not an export bus i was always going to make that mistake at least once uh that's not the one i want ME import bus. So I need to make a piston. A sticky piston. And there we go. Got ME import bus. I'm going to have to break the line for a minute. What I'm going to do is stick you on there. And then put the cable back. And we should be good now. There we go. And you can see it's now importing it to the system now it's not finished yet but what we can do is um we can look at our crafting and you can see how many it's got left to go so it's registering the fact that it's uh receiving the iron ingots from there so that pro that pattern provider is being satisfied by this importer being connected to it so we're all good and that's also crafting from the me storage system which is awesome i'm very happy with that so far we stick that up there. We don't need you right now. Okay, the next thing. So we can get rid of all of this. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, and um, I want a couple of uh, ME crafting terminals. So I'm probably going to need to make some more illuminated panels. Which means I'm probably going to need to make some more um, of these... Illuminated quartz glass, and I can only make four more right now. Oof. So let's see. But I might only need to make one recipe of it, which would be good. ME terminal logic processor one, two, good. And then crafting terminal, I'm gonna need to make two more crafting tables, good. And one, two. And the reason for these is that I want to have these in my other rooms. Now. The 
question is, there's a line up here somewhere. And I'm going to have to find it. Let's see. There it is. And this has its own channel, so it's going to work for me. <clears throat> yeah, this will work. This will work. I got an idea. Um, what I'm going to do is put that in there. And then what I can do is just run it and have it down here. There we go. And what I will do is go as low as I can. This, three. Is that connected? It looks like it. So if I do that, and then I could stick one of my panels on the front here. If I just get rid of that. Yep, I can see everything on the system now. And that's on the other line, so um, that comes from the top here, so that should only have two on it now. Yep. And the final step is I want to have one upstairs as well. I've already got a line running in here. So all I need to do um, can't really have it that side, so there was that was absolutely pointless. I can't really have it that side either. Still pointless. I guess what I can do is run it to here. So, and then it can run across there into there. And then... oh, the emerald shovel's too fast. Up there, like that. Yep, let's give it a go. Oh, I've only got six left. This is going to be tight. Two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna have enough. Need some more covered cable. <clears throat> which means I'm gonna need some more quartz fiber, which means I'm gonna need to um, get some more dust quickly. Uh, that's 16 could go in there. I was making some glass, which we're probably gonna need as well. Uh, auto output off. No, do not do that. I don't want. Right. Doing this super fast, we're going to drain all the energy out of the system. There we go. All right. Come back over here, dump that in there. All right, so I need cable. Uh, I want black, I want Fluix, that, that, you, make a few of them, see how much Fluix we've actually got, 20, that's plenty, hey, and then we can, oh, I need to make my covered cables first, uh, plus wool, 20 and now I can make my Fluix cables 20 good I can finish this up all right um you're gonna run in there go up there go up there all right let's repair the ground I can put one on there now to finish that off I'm going to use my exchanging tool on this stuff when I get the opportunity. Tidy stuff up. 
and that's already connected and it's beautiful so we've got access upstairs now as well i like it good good and this is still cooking away because we now definitely need some speed upgrades in all five of these machines That's the last one, and we're done. And this crafted storage should say, yeah, they're the crafted CPUs. Nothing's still crafting, so that's all worked. So one thing we can do is um, we can start to, uh, what is going on here? Okay, uh, descending, thank you. We can say one of them. Where's our gold? Makes. Two of them, and now we've got our gold. Do the same for tin. One of them. I've got any tin ingots? Yes, thankfully. Next two of them. Okay. Next. There we go, I needed to do A to Z. Um, Hopper. One of them. Next two of them. Next. Got iron. Lead and nickel we don't desperately need right now. One thing we do need is going to be osmium going forward. There we go. One of you makes two of you. Ah, what else? Oh, let's just do this. Shall we do the lead? And I haven't even got enough ingots to be able to do it. I mean, I can't remember how to up and down it. I guess we're going to see. Okay, so that's how. Fair enough. Go one, two. Not that. One. Lead is done. Uh, let's have a look. Have we got any silver ingots? Invar, Osmium, Yellorium. Okay, I'm going to need to smelt you two quickly. Now, I can't use time in the bottle in these, just like anything else, but... I can't be doing that all the time when I'm autocraft and it kind of defeats the point. Okay, and what I could do is just do that. Craft that. So we've got silver, lead, gold, copper, osmium. Uh guess we should do nickel. I think that's going to be enough for the minute. There we go. And now I can auto craft all them ingots. But like what we need next. I've got five minutes left in this episode. Let's see if we can um, speed run it, shall we? Is um, at mech speed. What I want is these, but I want 10 of them. It means I need 20 infused alloy and 10 osmium dust. I've got them. So, Osmium. One, two, three, four. And what I can do is go over to this pulverizer. Hit 
20 on these. Give it some super speed. All right. Back over here. Dump them in there. And then I should have enough to make eight, nine, ten. What that will allow me to do, uh, that's the upgrade. Install two into each of these, like so. So this one, two speed upgrades. Um, you. you and you now hopefully this should really seriously speed up the process and I do want to get some more gold on the go yeah so I'm going to take these out I'm going to return that I'm going to say I want 50 gold next available blah 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 And this is definitely going considerably faster now. It's going nearly double the speed now, which is good. I can live with that for the moment. Not ideal, and we're gonna definitely going to bump it up to a stack of eight in the end. But then we're going to start to need to look at energy upgrades because this thing is now using 250. And that's just that one. This is using 63. This is using 63. And so is that. So this is using over 500, which is like when that's running, that's basically half the power that this thing actually provides. And in fact, it's still draining. As we speak. And that'll probably be because this is also draining 21 AE per tick. So yeah, I mean, we're using a lot of energy here right now. I mean, you're still full. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say. We have passed 1,024 millibuckets of, or 1,000 millibuckets of um, waste. So I'm going to show you how this works. We just put it into outlet mode. We can remove the waste. And then we go back to inlet mode and it fills it back up with Eulorium. There we go. And now it's getting more efficient because it's got more fuel and less waste. But it's slowly ticking down, look, as normal. And that's varying. Okay, so we're about holding steady. But there is a thing we can do which will... Um, make these more energy efficient. We can go at mech energy. And then somewhere here is the energy upgrade, which is the same, but with um, gold dust instead. And we'll be doing that next episode just to bring down the power cost of doing this. And there we go. It's finished where it's uh, 50. It's got 26 left in the crusher. So that's halfway. And in fact, the crusher is the one that's holding everything up. So I'm going to Make one more and stick that in the crusher, I think, with my last two infused ally. Because you are holding up the train. So now we're at 2.37 on that one, but it's going to be using even more energy. And now hopefully, yeah, these are going to be the ones that hold it up. But it's still faster than what it was a minute ago. Because these were stopped starting. There we go. So that is automating um, processing the balls done for today. We did the wiring upstairs and uh, in the other room. So we got access to crafting terminals in there. And now we can really start moving towards. I feel a bit more comfortable to be able to, you know, do other mods now that we've got some level of auto crafting of ingots. Uh, what I'll probably do at the start of next episode is um, come in, 
move the um, and automate the processor, the logic processor stuff over here, or this thing. I'll move that over there and then I'll also put it in on automation, which is like really quite simple because I just put do this, stick a pattern provider on the um, chest itself and um, yeah, just set. Yeah, and like if I just let it run like that, it will take out the finished products and put in the necessary um, materials. So that will all be sorted as well. I've got a lot of certain quartz to go through here by the looks of it. It's good. Can never complain about that. But other than that, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you all for watching. And as always, until next time, stay safe.